I'm Kylie Maison, and I'm a food photographer based in LA. I have a food blog called Cooking with Cocktail Rings, and I do all the recipe writing, testing, and food photography for that. I've had an opportunity to work with a lot of really cool clients to do sponsored content. They'll either send me products or an ingredient that they want to incorporate into a recipe, and then I figure out a way to feature that in both the recipe and then the photography. I was brought in by the Freehand Hotel in downtown LA to do some photography around their various restaurants and bars to use on their social media and websites. Over the period of two days, I'll be shooting around the hotel and coming away with at least 25 selects to deliver to the hotel. Downtown has changed so much in the course of even the past five years. And I've been taking the train down and spending the day just going around to different bars and restaurants and just really trying everything. Jobs like this are all about communicating the ambiance of the hotel. It's really cool, it's very different. When you walk in, there's all this dark wood in the lobby. A really cool exotic travel vibe. Visual is everything. You know, we take very serious uh, Instagram, all the pictures we make, all the content, the little details. And, you know, the success is about taking care of those little details, those little layers upon layers upon layers. For this job, I was working with Stefan. He's the senior content manager. The first thing that we shot were the lattes and pastries at Cafe Integral. Thank you. I mean, I love a good matcha latte, and they definitely do a good one. Hold it out towards me more. We brought out the tile and the floors as details so that you're not getting the same picture with the same wood background for every image. Usually I shoot with the Canon 5D Mark III, but I've been looking for a camera that's better for travel just because mine is kind of bulky and I bring several different lenses. And so to have a smaller travel-friendly camera was great. The next thing that we shot was lunch at Exchange restaurant in the hotel lobby. Kind of a Mediterranean feel. Do you mind leaving the um, holder just yeah. so I can move it around? Thank you. Photographing food, you want to shoot it fresh. I mean, you want that steak to come out glistening. And make sure you have color. Having a bunch of color in your photographs really can go a long way. You want some close up, but a lot of full dish shots so that it, there's a cohesive story. You really have to pace yourself and figure out what you want to eat ahead of time on a big food shoot because now we have all of this and it all looks incredible. We've got some shakshuka, we've got the grilled naan, the nice breakfast platter over here. And so you really have to be picky because we also have lunch after this. This is really just second breakfast. <laughs> this is delicious. For some of the dishes, we took them outside to shoot. You're gonna hold it like right here and then angle it down a little. Yeah, nice. Nice. After lunch, we went and took some exterior photos down in the street. I put on the 11 to 22 millimeter so that I can get the full building. There's a really beautiful neon sign that is the old commercial exchange sign, and they kept that when they restored the hotel. Got it, down, <laughs> boom! <laughs> the last thing that we did the first day was shoot cocktails at Exchange, and they have beautifully garnished cocktails, which make my job easy because it adds a little dimension. Very showy and beautiful. As a Canon user already. I had brought my lenses to the set. I was able to use the adapter to use some of my other lenses. The lighting at the hotel has been great. Got that nice reflection through the windows. It really helped out. The start of day two, we took pictures of the rooms. We're set up in the Corner King room to do some exposure bracketing so that we can get a full interior shot and the windows won't be overexposed. We'll get a nice variation and then we'll composite them together. Got some really cool artwork in here. For 
After lunch, we walked around downtown LA and got a feel for the city. We found a little taco shop, so we stopped in there, had some fish tacos, one of my favorites. After lunch, we came back to the hotel and shot the tea service at Rudolph's Bar. It's their happy hour tea service, which is pretty unique. It's basically alcoholic tea. The last part of the second day of shooting was Broken Shaker, which is the rooftop bar. And we had to wait for the lighting a little bit on that one so that it wasn't quite so harsh. We did some photos of the bartenders making different cocktails, shots of the cocktails around the pool area, full pictures of the pool and the ambiance up there. And so beautiful with the LA skyline in the background. One of the things that I really like about this camera is that it has Wi-Fi capability. I can easily connect to my phone. If I'm out on a full day shoot, then rather than having to go home or bring cores with me, I can just remotely upload. Overall, I was impressed by the quality of the camera and the fact that there are so many interchangeable lenses. I was able to keep my style of shooting. You had the size of the point and shoot, but it didn't feel as much like a point and shoot because I was able to change all the settings with the touch screen and the different dials. There's so much to learn still. I love that even today I got to try doing more interior photography. So I got to learn new things with that. The food world, especially in social media, is very saturated. I'm proud of the content that I'm putting out there, making sure that the images that I'm posting are up to a certain caliber. And I think that has been successful for me. I love to eat and I love to take photos. I think food is so beautiful. It really brings people together and it's always been something that's been a huge part of my life.